Chus Bechus Hashacher, Shav Bachus, Avoyed Aleph Sifin, Page Kuf Samachay. Kuf Samachay. Bechus Hashacher, Tiknu Chachomim, Haseide Ha'ilam Ha'gosse. Hashabri is Nanin Bechol Yoim. The Brachus that we say in the morning <coughs> was. Chachamim set them up based on the nature of the world and the order of the world. What we have hano pleasure from daily. We should bench Hashem the first time that we have is hano. In order we should complete the Meya Brachis Shechayev Kol Adam Levarech B'Chayim V'Yayim. Erev Abayke. There is a tak ingin that a person should say one hundred brachas every day. May she take and daven Melech Alav Hashalom. And the Meisah she Meisim B'Chayim Mei Nafashes Misra. There were at that time a hundred Yidden were being nifter daily. Lehoi Yoyd Mama Hayi Meisim. Not know why they were passing away. At Shachaker Vehaven, Rechakoidish David researched the Rechakoidish and the Tikkun, and he enacted Mea Brachas Ployoim that one should say a hundred Brachas every day. Rem is a Dover, and a hint to this is what it says in the Pasik Nuum Hagever Hukim Hukam Oil. So says the man who established. The yoke. The word oil, oil is a gematria kuf a hundred. That's it's neum hagever who come oil. So says the man who established oil the hundredth brachas. That's from a pasuk in Nevi'im in Shmuel. A smach for daven and a and a smach for this. A leading for this in the Torah itself. The Torah says in Parshas Eikev, "Atam Yisrael Ma Hashem Alekech Hashel Miimach Kiim LeYidus Hashem." And now, Yidden Ma, what is Hashem your God asking of you? Kiim LeYidus Hashem, He is only asking of you to fear Him. So the word Ma means what? However, you can read the word Ma. There's no in the Kodesh in the Torah. You can read it Meya. Meya means a hundred. I'll take a mile of Meya, a hundred. You read the Pasuk, it At Yisrael, Ma Hashem Alekech Hashem. Ma Hashem Alekech Hashem. Meya Hashem Alekech Hashem is asking you to say a hundred brachas. So David HaMelech made this Taqqana based on Ruach HaKadosh, we should say a hundred brachas every day. There's a remist with a hint to it in the Vim. Who come oil, oil is going to a hundred. And there's a leaning to it in the Torah. What are these hundred brachas? They may a brachas in the Yiddish Hashem al Abba Yisrael Zichri Tamid. These hundred brachas are what brings a person to fear Hashem and to love Him and to remember Him constantly. Aidei ha brachas in Mevarach Tamid Erev Vayikav Tzareim to constantly benching Hashem in the evening, morning, and, and afternoon. In the three tefillas that we daven every day and the brachas Hashachah the brachas we say in the morning. The Shar Brachas of Chol Akpuiz B'Chol Yoyim B'Chol Eis and other Brachas which are established <coughs> every day and every time. What is the typical brachas? average? On every day. No, what is the typical average between the all the Shemana Esres and Pratsu? I'm going to tell you right now. Very good question. On a weekday? Yeah. 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 Very good. The Hain Kuf Brachas, there are a hundred Brachas Ah, B'Yem and Tanis even on a fast day. I mean, you're not eating. You don't have as many brachas, you're not benching, you're not washing. And might see itself as four brachas. Uh, benching afterwards is four. And might see until it's dying with another two. What are the hundred? Nun zayin begimel tefillas. You have 57 in the three tefillas of Shemanes. Wait a second, don't you double that 19 times 2 per each tefillah? Because that would be 38, because Chazar Shashat's in the room. A good question, but it's la, it's la dafka that we can count Chazar Shashat's because you're not, yeah, you're, you don't sing it yourself. Just but listen. For every Amen, you're not. So later on, we're going to see that in a case when you don't have enough, then we rely on those 
Okay. Chile should try to say it. And so, you're wrong. Yeah. So, yeah. Now we have a cheshbin of 57 of the three tefillas. Why? Because Shon Esrei is not just Shon Esrei, 18 brachas. We have also the Shim, it's 19. 19 times 3 is 57. So you already have 57 right there. Bez, Lifnei Kriyishma, Shalarvis, Begim Alachra. In the evening, we have two brachas before Maidiv. We say Maidiv Arovim in Oyev Ami Yisrael. 63. 62. And we have the three afterwards. In so, this is, uh, in many kihilas have a custom to say Yirwe Neinu after Ashkiveinu, so that's a third bracha. Chabad, we don't say that, you don't have that bracha. Harei Samach Beis, you have 62. Vesuda Salaylo, when you eat at night, in those days it wasn't like the American style, you know, you, uh, you eat chicken and meat, that's your main meal. The main meal was bread, right? And still that way in, in, in countries, and, and right? And, and, and still that way, I heard someone explain to me, maybe by the Shir here, that in, in certain, a lot of places in Europe, and maybe also in, 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 in Russia, Ukraine, that a lot of places still the main meal is, is bread. I don't know, someone just told me that so there are a lot of countries still that the main meal today now we people kind of go by without washing for, for a number of days they only wash on Shabbos right but um, we also live in a time where there's plenty people have chicken and meat and I'm all chicken and meat is something special Shabbos oh you have chicken on Shabbos and you if you have meat Today in America, every day people have a meat and chicken. So it's not. But one of the big Sidim came to America, he came to visit America to to to, to collect money in the, in the early years, here in the and and he, and he said before World War Two, he wrote back. He said over here they eat meat every day. He was like shocked. People eating meat here every day, <laughs> like man, a piece of meat, you know, or something. Uh, so washing. Every, what was what was a meal? A meal was what you washed. Bread, that's the main staple. But if you just if you consider as far as mayor brachas and washing, you have fewer brachas because you make up baruch, dama baruch, eights, and all the other brachas. You, you you gather more brachas. Could be. So it's not dafket to exclude other ways. So today's day you could do it some, some sure, another sorry, way. Yeah. Just saying that that was the mitzvah. Then they were washing. The sudas halayah, the evening brach uh, meal. Mevarech ches brachas, you have eight brachas. Why? Al natil sidaim, hamaitzi, the four dal shabrachas hamazon. Al akois, they were benched with akois. Shemabirchas hamazon, mevarech lafan of laachra. If you're eating with uh, three people, make a bench with akois before and after. So you say beri pi agafen and al hagafen afterwards. Hari ayin, seventy. Beachikach birchas hamapel, shohelich lishen. When you go to sleep, you say birchas hamapel. Alon tisudayim shachar. We start from the evening because on the Torah of a yedah be biker it starts with the evening. Asher yotzer lekain neshama. Hari ayin dal at seventy four. Then you have tesva brachas, the fifteen brachas behanoisin lasech rivina ad hagoyim lo chasad and toivim. Hari pei tes you have now eighty nine. The more you drink, the more you go Ashiyatsa. That's okay. <laughs> so that was Ashiyatsa we said. No, but you didn't Continuous. count if many times. <laughs> this is bad. Depends on the shot. No, throughout the day, the more you drink, the more eight, yeah. eight cold gases of water or ten, the more Ashiyatsa. We came up with the Torah. Three brachas that you say in the Torah. You say Al de Visoida and Vahadivna, uh, and then we say Bachabanu. Beishot Tfilim, according to Al Tadev and Shachanarich, you make two brachas on Tfilim. So you always make Shriyad and Sharaish, like the Minik Ashkenaz. Talus. Echel Shot Tzitzis, one of the Tzitzis, right? And then Talus Gadol. So, so those that when you wear, those that wear the Talus Gadol don't make on the Talus Cotton. Most people, I don't. That's what I understand. Because um, you're poiter it, you patter it. Obar Shomer Yishtabach. Mishtayim with Nei Kriyishma, two before, Vach Zachra, and Ikuf, you already have a hundred. Oh. <laughs> However, now we're getting to a problem. This is during the week. 
And by the way, this is even on a fast day because he's not including any day meal. The reason why he made this cheshbon was he didn't include any even day in meal. Even Because you could eat the night before. Exactly. Except for Tisha right? And in Kippur. Mm-hmm. Maybe you could eat in all the other Tanesim mm-hmm. you could eat the night before. Or if you're fasting for whatever reason, you're fasting for, for a tshuva, for a yard site, whatever the fast might be, you can still eat the night before. So you're not machash of a day meal. That's and there could be other meals. You could have a lot of bread, yeah, you're going to shayatza, you're, you're, you're eating other drinks during the day, there's fruits and different things, so there's, there's other ways to get the brachas. This is a thing that even on a tainus, a bare minimum, so you get. However, a Shabbos, Chosru Megimel Tfil Aslam HaBrachas are missing 36 brachas from Shemonesa because each davening is 7 brachas each Tfil seven times se- 3 is 21 so we're missing so now 19 from 7 is what do you have? 90 seven. times during the week we have 19 times 3 is 57 the Shabbos 7 brachas each Shemonesa um, and Musaf the only problem is where is Musaf? that's it yeah I don't know. It's a very excellent kasha. Musaf is not included. He says, it's a nice food science for Musaf. Oh. You're missing three from the regular Shemanes days. Shachas Mincha Meirev. You're missing 36. Obey's bracha shotfilin you're missing. And you're missing the bracha of Yeruei Neinu. The, however, so that, how many are you missing altogether? 36, 38, 39 you're missing. However, in the Torah Musaf, you have 7 for Musaf. Okay, so now it's 32 I'm missing. Now, but you have to eat two meals at least on uh, Shabbos. Three meals, no? But the Shabbos after Shabbos. I'm not sure. I'm not sure it's a good question. Wait a second. Why do you say two? Suda Shlishis, you got three. No, 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 no. That's not part of Shabbos. We're not. We're the Davin of the Herod, the Davin of the Sasson is including Lavamah. Maybe the part is, maybe the part is because, because Shalosh Shudas, you can be Yotza with that, but the Yavid, you can be without washing. So there are two Sudas. Probably. Assuming because it's 16 is a two Sudas. So you have another. No, no, I'm sorry. No, no, no. The cheshbon is very good because we already counted one suda. We already counted one the evening suda. Two. We're now saying on Shabbos you have an additional two meals. Oh, so that's how you figure it, three meals. Okay. So you have six. So, you, so you're missing 39 altogether. We have Musif. It's seven, so it's 32. Another 16. So now you're left with 16 that we're missing because you got 16 for the two. So the 16 minus 13, 16 left. You have Beish or Kiddush Alayla, two for the night Kiddush, Bayer Piyogaf and Mechadish Shabbos. Kish Mechadish Alakois. The Echad Shah Kiddush Hayoim. And one for the Kiddush Hayoim. Harei Chavav. But a lot of Lachaims don't make up the difference. Lachaim is not a bracha. Um, I'm sorry, it wasn't. Uh, yeah, 16. Wait, 16. And uh, wait, so 16. Plus two for the Kadeshim. And the. the, the figure in the Kadeshim already. Yeah, yeah. So you, so you have. Six, so he's counting. Seven of Musaf. Yeah, 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 yeah. And you have the Tazayin of the Sulla Shalayah, 16 of the. Which is 23. And then you have 26, the two of the night Kiddush, one of the day Kiddush. You have 26 altogether from Shabbos that you add. We're still missing up to 39, right? Chasr Harei, Chavav, Chasr Yudgimel. You're still missing 13 brachas. You have to f- complete them with fruit and making bracha on If one does not have extra fruits and psalmim to, to in between the meal eat and make brachas on, only then, if you don't have, you should be mechaven that you're listening in to the bracha of those who are laying the Torah and the maftir. And that should be enough. Because you have eight people called to the Torah every Shabbos, the seven Elias and the Maftir. And they have a bracha before and after. So you're good. No, bracha was not included. Someone's not hearing the bracha. 
You're not close enough to hear what bracha they're saying, but you know which bracha they're saying. Answer. And you're answering Amin, because everyone's answering Amin. You don't actually have to you hear everyone answering Amin, you can answer Amin. Mm-hmm. It's not good enough for Kobrachas. Okay. To actually hear it. Someone who has fruits has to be yoitza with fruits. You have to say it with your own mouth and not be yoitza with listening to the Torah. And you kipper, what you doing kipper? You're missing a lot. Missing the three meals. So you have to smell. A lot of times in the shul and the kipper, they pass around different psalms. Yes, you must bring like 30 different psalms in here. We <laughs> pass it all over. Wow. And different names. Different... Wow. It's unbelievable. Yeah, he buys new every year, no? Fresh? It's a container, but I tell you uh-huh. what it's made for. Uh-huh. This is coconut, this is this, this is that. Uh-huh. Very nice. You have to remember, you can't make the bracha again and again if you just made the bracha. You have to forget about it. You know, you made the bracha now, and then you stop thinking about it. Then you can make the bracha again. But my question from before, it said if somebody made a bracha, you didn't hear, but you say amen, you're not yotze. But what about shomer kakore? You if, you hear the bracha, if you hear the bracha, you hear, if you hear, but even hearing, this is when you don't hear the bracha, but you just say you, amen. You say amen because you see, you know what's going on. Uh-huh. You know, they're so, saying now bracha, the Torah, I hear everyone answering, but I can't actually hear what's going on. That's for sure no good. Hearing the bracha is good with the end. You have to try to say it on your own, with your own mouth. Vashar and the rest of them, Yichabin, Bishmias, Habrachas, Bechazaras, Hashatz. This is like he wanted to bring up. There are other brachas in Yom Kippur, you can't keep on smelling a whole day. So, you know, smell a few times and that's it. It's not going to keep on working. And, and therefore, you yoitze with Chazar Sashat. The same thing would be if someone who's fasting for the night before, not only Yom Kippur, if he had a fast that was already started the night before. So then he also, uh, which is like Tisha B'Av, or the fast that, people, that you fast for rain, so then you have to make it up. Make it up with the brachas of the brachas of Reach, and also with hearing the Chazar Sashat, the Kriyas HaToyra. Then you could be able to listen, and you have no choice. By listening and saying Amen. Base. The brachas of Shachar and the Sakhn of the Vareh Kolecha B'Shosh and The brachas of Shachar were set up to make the bracha at the moment that you are obligating it. Meaning, every time that happens, and you have that hana, at that point you make the bracha. The hainu. Kishi yoyer mishinasei, yoymer alakai neshama. When you wake up from your, when wake someone to sleep, you say alakai neshama. So right away you said it. Thank you, Hashem, for giving back my neshama. When you hear the sound of the rooster, when you put on your shirt, you're still on your bed and you're putting on your shirt. You haven't washed negabas yet, right? So you put your hands, you wipe your eyes with your sleeve. Not through your sleeve. Also, it's forbidden and it's, not, it's dangerous to put your hands to your eye before Nigelvas. This, this is our minhag? No. No. Ah. They're going to see we soon. We said the whole the all together. No, they're going to see soon. Not according to this. Who does this? No one does this. What? Huh? I don't think anyone does. Well, they say it in shul. Someone comes and says it by the Ahmed. Now. Yivarech Bekeach Ivrim. When she Yoishev, one sits, Yivarech Matir Asurim. She make the bracha 
Matir Asurim. Because you are moving your, your bones that a whole night you, 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 weren't, you weren't moving much. When you stand up, make the bracha You weren't able to stand up a whole night, you were in bed. And now you stood up properly. When puts one's feet on the ground, you should say the bracha the Hashem created the land above the water on the second day of creation. He created land. Everything was water. When he tied his, ties his shoes, he was also called Sarki. That's why you don't say this bracha on Yom Kippur and Tisha B'Av. Ve'in l'shanes ha'nusach v'loyim retzar koi achav b'chamat shalosh alam shouldn't say sh'asa li kol tzar chai tzar chai all my needs Hashem made for me. That's a no it's not just referring to shoes. That you shouldn't say that. Sh'brachah zu e'nei el an ilah says ham in olam shetzay lechadam it's all, this is only referring to your necessity to have shoes. All the other ones, we have separate brachas for them. We don't have one general bracha for all of them. When begins to walk, say, Some say instead of, say, When you tie your belt, or you tie your gartel, which is in between you and your private parts. You put on a hat on your head. The last two brachas we actually mention Yisrael hidden in the bracha. All the other brachas don't say yidin. Why do we say yidin? Why was suddenly over here we mentioning Klal Yisrael? Lama huska shem Yisrael. Tap a page. Kus samach zayin. Lama huska shem Yisrael. Beis bracha seilu. V'loy ba'chede. It's not by other ones. Shachagure ba'koy v'bisol enam kimoy umis. When we wear a kartel and we wear a belt and a hat, it's different in the way it is by nations of the world. And the nations of the world is only for their own benefit. Mm-hmm. We also wear it not only for benefit of the guf, obviously we also have benefits from it, but we wear it for other reasons as well, for modesty reasons and for kedusha. The chagura, the belt, the gartel, the hafzik, the nibel erva. The belt is important to separate between one's heart and one's erva. And the hat, in order that you should not be begili reish, person shouldn't go without a yamaka. Even the minadin is no iser. One brings Yerushalayim on his head. So the Maise, we wear a hat, it's different. We wear a gartel, it's different. The Rebbe one time if I bring in, you know, we were saying in, 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 in jest that the, the, by Kla Yisrael, it's clear that we want to separate our mind and our heart Separate the lay from the erva. Want to make a separation? So, but others they don't put the separation there. They put the separation by the necktie. So, mm-hmm. you, so you don't make any separation in the lay. And then he said further that the Muslims they wrap it around the head. So they want because by them there's a, <laughs> the erva is a, they, they want to be very connected to that erva. The head and the heart, everything very connected to the erva. So. 
So they're, in, you know, they're not known for being so uh, modest. Yeah, officially they're modest, but you know. So the Maisa, so there is other ideas. There are other ideas behind it, and therefore we say that name Yisrael, Beit Yisrael Biswara, Eit Eiz Yisrael Bigvura. Because there's a special thing about the way what we do, these things for other reasons. And by the way, it's Negeya, I'm saying, Bichlal, those days, was very important, because the way they wore that clothing, it was like a, a long dress, a robe. Chaluk. Chaluk. So they had to wear a belt, because otherwise, there was, they didn't wear, they didn't wear undergarments, and there was nothing separate, no pants, there's nothing separating the heart and lave in the erva. And in Torah, there's an that you should be separate when you say a bracha. The heart should not see one's private parts. <coughs> Therefore, when today's days, when everyone wears already uh, uh, undergarments and pants and everything, it's already different. Because then I had to one mock it. If someone were to be going with a robe, and let's say they want to say Kriyashma, or say it no he has to take the belt of the robe and tie it in between. It can't be the same, it has to be a separation. Shanoitel Yadav. One washes one's hands. Yivarech al matilos yadayim. Gushanoi tolponav washes one's face. Yivarech hamav v'sheinim me'enai. He does say ba'ad bar Hashem goyim lachasad teivim la'ame Yisrael. Ve'ein lanis amen achamav v'sheinim me'enai kodim yadatsin. Shenat say amen after hamav v'sheinim before you say yadatsin. B'shakol bracha achas arucha. Pesach has a barach, Hashem has a barach. It starts with a barach, ends with a barach. From Hamav Sheinai till Agoy Machasam Tevel Ami Yisrael, it's all one long bracha. Even though the chord of the beginning and the ending are not the same, the luck is that always when you end up something, you wrap it up. You have to wrap up to the beginning. There's a chesed Hashem made with people. With, with us that he <coughs> took the sleep of our eyes, the person was able to wake up in the morning, Baruch Hashem, and have another day. On a side note, I, there was later, I, I, I saw a sikha once, the Rebbe asked, how come Hashem created a constant of sleep? How do we need sleep for? What is sleep? Sleep is that your, your body gets tired and needs to rejuvenate, so you sleep. You sleep a certain amount, amount of hours and then you re-energize. Hashem didn't have to make us this, that way. We didn't have to get tired, and we would continue. We would continue. We'd serve Hashem. We'd still have Yitz Sahara, We'd still have all our other issues. We wouldn't have the Ingen asleep. What's the Ingen asleep? If you don't sleep, it's not Kechadoshim. Oh. You need to serve Hashem. But he could have made that you had the Koyach. What's the purpose? Sleep During sleep, you're not here. What, what's the... He said that then there's, no, there's always continuation. There's never, there's always, it's all continuous time. There's no sleep, time is continuous. There's never, there's never stop and a new start. To give a person a chance that he should have a new start, a new beginning, you have a new day. You go to sleep, you wake up, it's another day. Whatever was, was. Now you could be a different person. You could wake up in a different mood. Yesterday you were upset, now you could be happy. So it's a, you could have a, a change in your life, change in the schatzus. You have a chiddush and it change. Now, again, the oilam is asking, this whole sif seems to be not relevant today. We don't do this. We don't say the brachas when you are chayiv in them. As soon as you're chayiv, we say them later in the shul or at home. But we don't. We say them all in a bunch together. Yeah. So here in Sif Gimel, the Altarev explains why. Why? Today, because our hands are not clean, also because there are many people that don't know the brachas, our minig is to say them in shul, people can answer amen in yoytzev. What do you mean by yoytzev? Meaning like actual dirt or means tumah? Touching the body. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what it means. Let's see, one second. Hello, Thomas. 
see his belly. Now, maybe on Mull they were more careful because the Tumma and Tadra and different things, they were more careful what they touched. They were very careful what they touched and came in contact with because there was a, the whole concept of Tumma and Tadra. They were living a different life. A lot of dinim that we don't... Uh, we don't right. not keeping today. They had a whole different lifestyle. Yeah. 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 The Rabbanim yeah. had to know a lot of other dinim. Yeah. Had to know a lot of other dinim to answer Shailas. A lot of other dinim. And so then they were careful maybe what they touched. Um, These brachas are not similar to the bracha of mitzvahs, she told the Lord, I will see us. She told the Lord, I will see us. She told the Lord, I will see us. The question is over here, we know there's a very general rule in brachas that brachas have to be made, I will see us. Whenever you do a mitzvah, you have to say the bracha now. You mean, lit chanaka lift, you say the bracha before. Everything you do, the bracha before you do it. You can't say, oh, later on, I want to say the bracha. You lost the chance. So over here, the Chorah, the same thing. So, you know, that halacha is only by Birchas HaMitzvahs. Because you say the Lash Shekichan and it's on the last days. The Lash is Hashem commanded me to do this now. To do this. Well, I'm not doing it now, so I can't make the Bracha. But Birchas HaShacher is thanking Hashem that for the concept that there are these things in the world. I have shoes and I have this. It doesn't have to be that right now I'm putting on the shoe. I it's think not a seer. Not right now, yeah. Why not? They're praising Hashem. They can make it eventually even later. Even in the middle by by Chatzos, you heard the rooster crowing. In the morning, still you can make it again. We can make say the bracha. Ki mishal acher mi kein mevarich menasim chacham eshir tchifa. Since you anyways are saying the bracha afterwards, chacham did not give it a shear how close it needs to be. But I don't have a trick at all. Still make the bracha. Yeah, you don't have to actually hear it, even if you don't wear your shoes. The mashal uh-huh. make the bracha. The point is, I have that ability. Well, but we're going to discuss that actually. That's not yet discussed. It's three shittas later on in Siv Zayin. There are shittas to hold, like we said, unless you actually do it, do it, mm-hmm. you can make the bracha. Anyway, in a chanami later on, but you had to hear the rooster. If you didn't hear the rooster, at some point, you can't make the bracha at all. Machleikus about it. So. Buy a rooster? That, no, it's not. <laughs> no, they, they don't hear the rooster. Yeah, no, it's a rooster. It's not what it's opinion, but nobody hears yeah. it. <laughs> they don't hear it today. They hear the alarm. <laughs> hmm? They, heard my, my alarm. Oh. they might have alarm. So, <clears throat> this is a cloud, by the way, that any bracha usually, you're supposed to say the bracha before you do it. Before you do mitzvah. But let's say you do the bracha, chazal said to do the bracha afterwards. Once Chacham said to do the bracha afterwards, then even if it's much later afterwards, you can still make the bracha. Because once they push it off already from that being before to later, it's no sheer to when you could do it. It's interesting that I was recently learning the halacha in, 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 in Shabbos, Hilcha Shabbos, lighting Shabbos candles. So the minig is that women say the bracha after they light the candles. Really, they should say before they light. Lahad Lekner, Shabbish, Shabbish, Kodesh, before they light. They light afterwards. Why? It says because men, women didn't want to make the bracha before because they felt that saying the actual bracha was a Kabbalah So the Maya said they pushed it off to after. It's illogical. Hi, what about that you're missing? No, so it's supposed to be Oiver La Before, yeah, you're right. Oiver La Why? So it's they say that, therefore, you don't have enough from it right away. They cover their eyes right away. That's the idea. They, they say the bracha, and then they open up their eyes and they see it. Yeah. 
Well, Amaisa, what happens if someone, a lady forgot to say the bracha right away? Half hour later, she remembers. al Rebbe says you can say the bracha. And one of the reasons is, based on this idea here, that since the bracha is made after, There's once it's pushed shield. off, you could do it later. What about washing hands? Is that thing? It's a good question. Asher Yatzar. Asher Yatzar, we know that, let's say, you, you did Asher Yatzar, right? Right. And you don't have water. You have to walk like half a mile in order to get the water. And then you make the walk. Which is like, did it like half an hour later. No, but then, again, you washed hands, right? But yeah, but they told you to walk half a mile in order to wash your hands. So you already did Asher Yatzar, right? You went to the bathroom. Yeah. And later, half an hour later, you're going to find water and, and wash it and whatever. It's a good question. You have to know what's the din. You can make the bracha. How long? What's that? How much time do you have to do between washing your hands? Wash it actually with water and saying bracha. Right. You can still walk half a mile. No, I'll tell you, no, also, no, no, I'll tell you also. No, no, no. To get a towel. <laughs> I'll tell you also something else. <laughs> something else is also a big difference. <clears throat> There's another difference over here. By the Shabbos candles, the candles right here are still lit. Here it's lit. You're having enough from it, pleasure. So, over here also, the, the, you heard the rooster, you heard it, you heard it. So, Shiloh, when are you going to thank Hashem for it? So, if we don't tell you, you have to thank immediately, and you're allowed to do it afterwards, so once you say you're allowed to do it later, so then there's no, there's no exact shear when it has to be said. But something like until Zedayim, it's probably after your hands are dried, and uh, you know, at a certain point you, 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 you forgot, it's too late. Only when they see it. Lachora. Lachora, once it's gone, it's gone. It's not enough. It's not enough. It's not enough. Well, you know, when it comes to the bracha on the rain, on the thunder, thunder yeah. and lightning, we don't make it a second time in the, when it's still, the clouds, those same clouds are here. One of the clouds disperse, went away, away, and they yeah. come, then, then you they come back times, again. Times a day, yeah. But when the clouds are still here, it's the same, it's the same th- storm. Can't make the bracha. So you're writing thank you cards after your wedding a year later. <laughs> with the rainbow, it's different because you enjoy to do the rainbow, and you also you know that Hashem wanted to punish us and give us the rainbow it's like a double. So after our chasana, so we had the the checks sitting around for a while, and we didn't cash the checks, We're taking our time, you know, chasana kal, the busy, the after sitting years. around. At a certain point, and I, 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 I remember, I said to my, we didn't want to cash it in. We wanted to first make copies because we won't have the addresses. So the check. Yes. So thank you. So, but at a certain point, I had forgotten why we had, were saving it. <laughs> so I just one day stood up. What is it doing here? I went to the bank and I put it in they to pay the them. bills. Then I later on realized, what did I do? My wife says, what did you do? We need all those names and all the things. So I called up the bank. And they told me that uh, this is seven dollars per check to get the copy. To get the copy. Whoa! So wow. I said I just gave it in. I, I can't just get it back. Uh, yeah, policy is this. That's crazy. So I went, and uh, the, the, the person there was not. Uh, so he I went and bought before. a little. I went before. and bought a little chocolates, a little chocolates, so a chocolate box. I went in and I came to the manager. They said, you know, I, this is what happened, and uh, we got married with so this. Here's a chocolate. I said no problem. Went right away, he gave me all the printed them all out, and it would have cost us a lot of money. <laughs> Get each check with a seven dollars, you know. <laughs> now, those are the, those were the, that was years ago. Now everything's, you know. Oh, you don't even have to go. Everything is a different. But I think it's only if you deposit over the phone. So they have to pay if you go to a tailor. Depends on where. Right. Depends they on want where. to do everything online. They want it to be. Yeah, if you do, if you do regular ATM, you won't get it. Some banks, I think, actually, the actual receipt has a picture of the check. Certain banks. They have online. The, no, even the ATM. Yeah, not, not too many. The, even the ATM had like a small picture. <laughs> Used to be the check. Even yes. A different world. I think by until you don't do this, this is a shield. Let's say wash hand. Yeah, this is a certain shield. Every Adlaka's name is a different. Then you have to wash again. Because you still have the mitzvah here. You still have the mitzvah here.
Was like four minutes or three minutes, something like that. Really, that's right. Yeah, because we spoke about what happened is a yeah, family, like 20 kids or 20 people, and you're going to make a moitzi, you know? Yeah. You made a moitzi now, and you give the challah to the guy, it's 10 minutes later, so what do you do? <laughs> you get, some bo- him, get some book luck. <laughs> and I told him I watched <laughs> the last <laughs> one because <laughs> I'm making the moitzi when I have 30 people on the table. So what I do, I help the people to wash their hand, and I wash the last one so I'll be closer for the moitzi. Or other people do two bulk after each person. Yeah, you already go, go ahead and make a moitzi. Right, so you shouldn't be a soccer. Right. Yeah, but he has a hits also. It's yeah. better, better way, yeah. But we didn't do it like this. So. Yeah. Siv Dalit. Void. There are also another three brachas we did not discuss yet. Void Gimel Brachis, Shechayev Odom of Arab Bechol Yoim. Shaloy Sani Goi, Shaloy Sani Oved, Shaloy Sani Isha. Afilo has shavui. Yoimer shaloi asani avid. Even though he's a shavui. Even he, a captive should save his bracha. Hashem did not make me a slave. Sheina bracha la cheres me avdos. Al sheina avid chayev al mitzvah sheisha chayavas ban. It has to do with the fact that you're not you're not an avid and an isha are not chayev in all the mitzvahs in the Torah. You're thinking Hashem that you're chayev in all the tayag mitzvahs. A lady is not chayiv in all the mitzvahs. And the Ebed is not chayiv in all the mitzvahs. So it has nothing to do with, if you're a captive, as many mitzvahs as you could do, you still have to do the mitzvahs. The Isha sink your tzorno and Ebed? So some people, ladies, the ladies say, some of them say, Shasani kertzoinoi. And some don't say any bracha. We'll see soon. How about if she lost any of it? Yeah, yeah, she said. Sure, yeah. Yeah. But she doesn't. She can't say Shalei Sani Isha. What's the difference, Doctor? Shalei Sani Kiyotzei. Why is a woman say Shalei Sani but she's a yid, she could, uh, she could not say it. Like it's not what she says, she'll say The only boss she doesn't say is about Sani Isha. Right, but I'm saying, he's asking why don't, why does she say it's about Sani Isha? If it's all, there's no more mitzvah. Because she's not over it. She's not over it. What's over it? is an evid and she's not an evid. That's no. not why. It says over here, the reason why, even if you are an evid, you still have to say it. Someone became an evid. Yeah. Someone's captive. So he's a couple, he's not an Evid. Evid is a different thing. He says over here it's because of mitzvahs. Evid yeah, is somebody that did, a, let's say, stall, and he didn't have money to pay, so Evid didn't stall it. So, that's so, Evid Ivory, yeah. That's Evid. But otherwise, he's, he's, he's a show, he's not an Evid. It's a different between a show and an Evid. That's not what he says. <coughs> he says over here that the word is, Ein habrocha la cheros me avlus. Yeah, you see, four, four light, five lights. Right, 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 right. Evid she'ein she'ein Evid chayi velo mitzvah she'isha chayav is banned. He's asking is if the lady is the same level as the Evid, and not only that, by the way, the Evid is chai even more. Because he can't I cut his pace. There's more mitzvahs that the women chai than the Evid. Sashkis pa'azikna. Evid is chai even more. A few more. Um, we'll see. Maybe there's a swara we can see soon, because we can see Api Kabbalah, there's other reasons. Some say ger, you can't say shaloy asani goy, because he was a he was a, made as a goy. So you can say shasani ger, she made you made me a ger. Kishivnas a ger, katan shaloy lo vnasik eberi vasiyah dasha. When someone becomes a ger, he's like a a, a a child that was born. It's a new life, total new start. Are you making bash for him? If he's a ger, tell him to to say shalom. He was a guy. But he could still say Shalei Sani Yavid. A guy is worse than an Evid. An Evid is chayiv in much more mitzvahs than a, than a, than a guy. An Evid is chayiv in all the mitzvahs that say as man grandma, like the lady. Yeah. But a guy is even though he was a nachri, but Gerua me Eved, and 
he's worse than Evid. However, he could be may become a Ger. So Goy has a certain thing that the Evid can't. He could become a Ger. So he, could, he has a potential. If he's an Evid, he can't. Unless his, his Rabbi is master of reason. Some say you should not say Shesani Ger. Because Hashem didn't make you the Ger, you have your own free choice, and He made Himself the Ger. According to the words of the Makubalim, Shabrach is Elo Hein Aitzis and Shmasa Belayla. The Makubalim learned all these brachas differently. The Magnafram brings from from Svarim and Kabbalah that these brachas are Hayitzias and Shmasa Belayla. This is nothing to do with the way you were born. It has to do with the fact that every night when you got your neshama back, you got a neshama, the proper neshama back. It wasn't entered, it didn't enter into you the neshama of a ger evadi isha. This way, anyone can make it. And according to this, you can understand why isha could also say maybe she didn't have a, a, a neshama of an evad come into her. The Gabi, the Evid, I think it's, I have to look it up again, but I think only Evid Kanaini is, Evid Ibn is Chayiv Lachor in all the mitzvahs. I think, I have to see. Now, Hanashim Noyegis Levarech Shesani Kirtsoine. Women have the minute to make the Bracha Shesani Kirtsoine. Hashem made me that as He willed. She's saying, you know, this is what it is. I'm not Chayiv in all the mitzvahs. I thank Hashem for making me the way I am. And it says minhag, no hagot. It's not not all way. women like that way. Yeah. No. What, what does your Rebbetzin do? You said she also in Ketzuna. Yeah. Some ladies don't do it. Some people say she But they can't say she was <laughs> Today you don't know who's man who's woman. What do Rebbetzin needs to do? There was there was a lot of discussion years ago about this, like what was the original minig in Chabad if they said it or they didn't say it, and it's back and forth. I think the Rebbe wrote you should ask uh, older Rabbanim. I I think that most I think I think that they don't say most of the most of the ladies didn't say any book or nothing. No, 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 just no. No, Shasani they didn't. That's it. Yeah, all the brachas like they do say, sure they say brachas, yeah. No, no, I won't say, but we can... Sure Those that knew how to read them... I think that people did not say it. Some people didn't say it. It was a Some people say you should say, some you shouldn't say. But in Chabad, it's a machlaikit also, if the women should say it or not. This bracha. Right, yeah. That's what I'm talking about, yeah. Bess Yaakov, the teach to say, Shiloh Asani Kirtzana. And all my girls... Shasani. Huh? I mean, she has any kids Yeah. My yeah. wife told me that in school, one teacher told her to make the book and one teacher told her to make the book. Who What like What like Each one, whatever he learned in his house. You know, it's tradition. Also, yeah, you know, the word, you know, with the advent of the Besiakovs, so women are educated and women are, you know, when they're all saying brachis, and many of them know more than the men, you know. So the Maisa, in, in Europe, it wasn't that way. A lot of in the shtetl, although a lot of women did not know how to daven. They're very simple. So there were certain women that uh, did, did, and they studied, and they, they learned on their own. But a lot of women didn't. So they weren't. They, so they were yaisa. They said maidani. They said upset tefila. They didn't <coughs> daven like, like today, where women are davening shachar samincha. And Shulchan Aruch mentions that the minig was that women did not daven. Even though the ikra halacha women should daven every day shachar samincha. That's the ikra halacha. However, the women were noig to, to not to, and they relied on other sheetas that say it's enough for them just to say uh, some, type no. of, so, some type of tefillah every day. Mm-hmm. Some form of tefillah. Even now, well, sometimes it's difficult for a woman. She has, uh, she's t- dealing with her children and different things, and they're not, it's yes, not like they have to... Uh, you know, it's not their Iker thing. They have to know that there is another Shita that they can rely upon, you know. Uh, obviously, they feel a lot of times that they need to daven. They want to daven. They feel it's so good, so they 
it's a commendable thing. But uh, the first thing is to take care of the family, the children. It's the, it's the more. Yeah, it's more davening. Because their grandmothers, the, their grandmas and great grandmas didn't daven. They didn't daven in in, in Mishnatul. So for hundreds of years, they weren't. They weren't really that. They were rapid school. sins. They were always rapid sins. There were always girls that were above the average, and they did. So, and there were some that knew how to write very well. The Rebetzins and some of the Rebetzins in Chabad were uh, very good writers, and uh, they wrote very well. They knew languages, and we have letters of them writing in Lashon Kodesh and in Yiddish, and they wrote well. And the said that once that, uh, that she would hear this daughter of the Alter Rebbe was very special and she would, she would go into the Alter Rebbe and the Alter Rebbe would explain her deep concepts of Hasidus. Now, her brother, the Milter Rebbe, wanted to hear these things but the Alter Rebbe didn't invite him. So that he wanted to hear, so uh, there was one story where he he was under the table uh, somewhere in the room, he was hiding and the Alter Rebbe was explaining to her what the deep concept of the different um, clothing that the Koyin, Koyin Gadol would wear. Koyin, what does it symbolize each thing? But the Altareva didn't explain, he missed out, he didn't explain the Avnei, the, the Gartel. So he wanted to know what the explanation of the Gartel, what is this thing all about? So he, 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 he threw the Gartel something, he motioned, the Altareva saw us. Give him a hint. Actually, you know, in the last in the last chelik of the Igris Moshe, Moshe finds in Chuvus, chelik Ches that came out after he was Nifter. So the family writes in the beginning uh, the biography of Moshe Feinstein, and they write a little about his history. And they wrote that he had a certain shaykhis with Hasidim, even though he was a Lit- Litvisha background. You know, he was Russian. Uh, Moshe Feinstein is Russian. And uh, but a Litvisha background, but he had a shaykh of them. So they, one of the things they say over there that his grandmother, his grandmother learned with the Tzemach Tzedek in the same cheder. The girls didn't learn a cheder, right? But his grandmother, her great grandmother, was very exceptionally smart, and she wanted to learn. So they they, they put her in the corner of the room with other boys were learning, and she would sit in the room. So he's, that's what it says over there. Chassidim, it's nothing, it's not a story that, that is printed over there. They say that Moshe said that he never knew about, he never knew this on his own, but when he was in Russia, the Fidik Rebbe, previous Rebbe, made a, a meeting of, he, he made a meeting, he organized a meeting of all the Rabbanim to deal with the issues, the communists, different deal with the issue at hand. And he said that two, two people, Two, two Lubavitcher Hasidim came to invite him, to formally invite him to this meeting, to this Hasifa. When they came, they told him that we really have a, a that the Lubavitch has a Kesha, because your grandmother, your great grandmother, learned with the Tzamot Tzedek, the third Lubavitcher Rebbe in the Cheder. So he didn't know, but he said that then he mm-hmm. heard this. St- <laughs> that Bechlal, they say in the story, that there was a, a, a program Le'elenu in the city. His father was the Rav in the city, uh, Reb David. His father's name is Reb David Feinstein. And when there was the program, so they ran away from the city. Now they ran away, stayed out of the city for a while till things were calm. By the time they came back, to his father's position, someone else had ran and took the position. So he went and sat in his father's seat and he said, I'm the Rav. His father didn't want to make machlekes. So the father just went to dab in, in the other shul. What was the other shul? And they, every kehillah had the, the big main shul. And then they had the chassidim, had their shtibol. So he went to Davin, his father took him to Davin in the Chesid HaShashtibo. So since he was davening there, his father had told him, this is what it says over there, that he should daven in the Nusach Hari, because that's what they're davening uh, in, in there. So he would, he would, uh, so that's uh, some stories they say in the beginning of the Ramesh Feinstein's Chubas. So he was a Shtikah Chabadnik. I wouldn't say that, but uh, <laughs> when, men, when men of us came from Russia the first time, they came to the Rebbe, the Rebbe told him go visit Moshe Weinstein. So they came to him and he told him I was sitting in jail for 15 years and severe and this, but the Rebbe Rebbe sent me to talk to you. So what? El Chos Shabbos. He started talking and he was like booking Chos Shabbos. So he said, no, no, son, you didn't have a book for 15 years and you know El Chos Shabbos. He said, yeah, it's to Chazar El Pahel. Again, again, again. 
He said, this is Hasidim from the Rebbe Archer, and I'm like, admire you like 100%. The Rebbe wants, uh, you should see what Hasidim is. No, he didn't have any shaykhs to Hasidus itself, but he was had a close relationship with, you know, he didn't study Hasidus or any shaykhs to the ideals of Hasidus ideology. I'm saying he was a very erlucha person, obviously, and everything, but he didn't have any, but he was very friendly with, uh, very friendly with the Mechlal, with Hasidim and... Uh, he sent the Rabbi, sent him Rabbi Natan. Right. He was a very, very honest person, Amish, and he was no, not, no shaykhs to politics. That was the very unique thing about him. And there was nothing political about him. So he weren't able to turn him this way or that way. He, whatever he felt, that's the way it was, and that was it. And he was op- his door was open to everyone. So no group, a party, was able to say that I have Ramesha, he's ours. So if anyone wanted, he could approach him, he come, come to him, and he, come to him. he was open to everyone. So that was... Uh, I get a call from Israel, and it was the middle of the night, I think I didn't realize. So he said, I'm sorry, I have to go wash my hands. And then he came back to the phone. He said, three minutes, why? And he asked, no question, he asked. And when he finished, he said, what's your address? So he gave it to him. Then he sent him a check, because then that time, one one minute the phone call for, to United States to Israel is like three dollars, something like that. Mm-hmm. So it's like four minutes that he, he told him to hold on. Mm-hmm. He went ahead and sent him a check. Mm-hmm. And the guy called him to ask him a question. Will you have a one like this today? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay, I have to go to Maidiv. My mom should next week. What happened if you open the whole night? Huh? You're still making the breakfast? Or you didn't get to it yet? <laughs> but if you're up the whole night till next week, you should make the breakfast. I need the nights this week till we learn the halacha. I'll let you know you should do. Make the breath. We'll learn the reasoning. We'll, we'll learn next week. We have another one for tomorrow. Are you heading to college?